I've noticed that a lot of people struggle to keep fuller for longer, especially when they're in a calorie deficit. And I'm going to help you out with this today. So what's really important is meal frequency and meal timing, okay? So meal frequency in terms of how many times you eat. I eat five times a day. And this is what I recommend to my clients. Breakfast, lunch, afternoon snack, evening meal, PM snack. The PM snack is super important because that's when I'm watching Netflix. That's when I'm enjoying Coronation Street or whatever. But the point being, that is the time when I wanna eat some snacks. So I better have planned something out that's gonna keep me satisfied. And that's within my calorie deficit. Now meal timings, it's not massively important if you have the meals at the same time as me. There's no strict recommendation. But if you have routine and structure with your nutrition, you find it's gonna be less chaotic. You know like anything in life, it could be work, your personal life, business, whatever, without that structure, there's chaos. Chaos means eating more calories, means you're gonna get fat or you'll never lose weight, whichever. So I have breakfast at 10 a.m., don't have it first thing. Lunch, um, one, between one and two. Afternoon snack, three o'clock, evening meal, seven, around seven or eight. PM snack between 9 and 10, something late, something I can look forward to. Now, and a real, real important thing, really, 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 I said really a lot of times for a reason there, is protein should be consumed with every single meal. If you find it hard to have a high protein, look at the protein bars, look at the shakes, look at the protein pancakes. There's so many things you can have to top up your protein around food. Now, you require this is what we recommend, and there's all different um, numbers on this, but we recommend 0.9 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 180 pounds, or 81 kilos, or 12.8 stone, whatever, just do it in pounds, you require 162 grams of protein. So you can now use MyFitnessPal to work out how many grams of protein you've been having based on your body weight, and then you've got to start hitting it. Make it non-negotiable. Protein is the most filling food group you can eat. It is a game changer when you're in a calorie deficit. Also, it helps you hold on to muscle tone as your body shrinks and you lose fat. So you'll look good, but also the more muscle tone you have, you're gonna burn more calories. That means on a 24 seven basis, you're always burning more calories. What a great situation to be in. So you need to make sure, as well as the meal frequency, as well as the meal timing, as well as hitting the protein, you are in a calorie deficit. CD, calorie deficit. Go online, look at a calorie calculator, figure out how many calories you require to be in a calorie deficit. Focus on calories, protein, and have some structure with your nutrition, and I bet you, you will feel fuller for longer. Coach Sai, signing out.